the video, my name is Cycle Demand, and today I'll be rating every single skin I have gotten the month of December. Sorry I didn't make a video on this last month, but I didn't really have time to, and I kind of forgot to. But as you can see, we have a lot of skins to go through. Let's just right into the video. So the first skin we have here is the FFG LeBron James skin. This is a really cool skin. He has some really cool other styles. He has the Home Kit, the Away Kit, and the other FFG LeBron James. So you have bunch of really cool styles. The fair one is obviously with a crown, and you can also change the number, and you can change the color of the skin. I think this LeBron James skin is really, really cool. I actually got this one gifted to me, so shout out to the person who gifted me the skin. I think it's a really nice skin, and thank you for that. And yeah, overall, this is a solid 8 out of 10. It's a good skin. It's definitely not, it's probably not my favorite Icon Studio skin, though. Not my favorite version of LeBron James. I think it's really good, though. Next up, we have Chrome Punk. Yes, I know this is a Halloween skin in December, but I got this skin literally, I think, the second to last day of the season. Uh, Chrome Punk was honestly a skin that I kind of like, but I also don't really like it as much as original Punk. I don't think it's as cool, I don't think it's as unique and creative at the time. This skin is cool. I like the colors on the skin. It doesn't really match anything, though. And I like the one eye. I think it's like... Punk's brother or something like that. I'm gonna give Chrome Punk a solid 7 out of 10. It's a good skin. Next up is Ada. This is the group, not the Crown Crew Pack. This is the level up quest pack of last season. I bought her on the last day of the season because I was like, you gotta, I literally think I got 20 levels last day of the season in order to get the level 200. So I was like, let me just buy this. I want the pickaxe. I want the back when it's not coming back. So that's what I bought the skin for. She has two really good edit styles. I like the pen ink style a lot. I think it's really, really cool. My only issue is I don't really see myself using this skin in the future. Besides that, it's like an 8 out of 10 skin. Uh, not as good as Omega Knight, not as good as, not as, good as Phantasm. Next up is our first Chapter 4 skin of the list, which is going to be Selene. Selene is a skin that is our Tier 1 skin, and honestly, I really like this skin. She has some really good edit styles, like the base style, the Sunlight Selene, and also, also all of her overtime styles are really well done. I like the armor, and overall, Selene is a fantastic tier 1 skin. I love her. I'm going to give her a solid 9 out of 10. Really good skin. Aw, Doomslayer. This is, like I said multiple times in my custom my battle pass reaction and my ranking, this is my favorite collab skin in the entire game. That I did my boy justice. My only complaint is, there no, is, there, is that there's no unicorn suit, but I know what? They could probably make that a separate skin, right? Please, epic. I want my unicorn demon guy. Anyway, uh, this is a really fantastic skin, though. I'm going to give this skin a solid cyclo out of 10 slash 10 out of 10 slash 11 out of 10 a cyclo out of 10 means that it is one of my favorite skins in the entire game and one of my main skins this is, this is uh, the only three skins i have this right now are cyclo torin and now doom guy that's one of those my three main skins congratulations doom guy i made it up there next up is dusty dusty is a skin that I wasn't expecting to like as much as I do. I think she has some really, really cool edit styles like the Boneyard Dusty. She also has some really awesome level up edit styles. And she gets a really cool mask in the later on in the Battle Pass. It's a really cool skin. I like it a lot. And I like how the color scheme is on the skin. I think it's really good. I'm going to give Dusty a 9, 9 out of 10 as well. It's like a really, really good skin. The Hulk. This is a skin that I and a lot of other people have been wanting for a long time. Now, we've seen, we've seen so many clickbait thumbnails of the Hulk in Fortnite. It is finally time we have my boy in Fortnite now, and he's absolutely incredible. I absolutely love the Hulk, yes. When it's south of the Recruit Hulk here. Really, really awesome skin. 10 out of 10, though. Next up, we have our first out of our two Winterfest skins for terms of Strop. I'm not talking about free skins. It's gonna be Winter Wonderland Sky. It's just Sky in winter clothing. I really like it. I like the base, I like the original skin of Sky, and I like this version of Sky. I'm gonna give it a solid 8 out of 10. It's a good skin. I like it. It's a good Christmas skin to wear. This is probably the one I wear the most besides. Guff Pringle. Next up, we have Nizumi. This is a fantastic cell shaded skin. Out of all the anime skins, this is off there with Goku in terms of how much I like the skin. The skin is absolutely incredible. I love the reactive feature, and the skin looks really, really, really cool in game, especially the Exile style. This is right now the skin. Really, really awesome skin. I'm going to give it high rating 9.5 out of 10. It's a really awesome skin. Next up, we have Jun Han. This is our. PS Plus skin. I almost said cruising. That's just our PS Plus skin of this season. It's alright. I mean, like, I kind of I like the hair. I like, I like the headband. I just never am really going to use it too much. I actually haven't used this skin once yet. Uh, 6 out of 10. Next up, we have Mina Park, which is our starter pack skin. Once again, a skin I haven't I've yet to use. I'll probably use her soon. 
Um, I like it. I think it's a good starter pack skin. Uh, I'm gonna give her a 6.5 out of 10. It's alright. Goth Ringle is the best free skin Fortnite has ever gave us. It is Goth dressed up as Santa Claus. What more do you want for? He has a mustache and everything. He has a beard. He has the Santa clothing. It is mm, peak skin. 10 out of 10 for Guff Ringle. I'm a huge Guff fan, by the way. 10 out of 10 for Guff Ringle. Mr. Beast! Okay, I'm not gonna sing that. That's actually kind of crazy. Okay, Mr. Beast here is really, really good. I like the skin. I think he has a really cool mask. I like the base style, too. The mask off. I think they did Mr. Beast skin really well. I, what I wish they gave him a little bit more to both of the skins. Like, I do wish they were not as basic as they are. But besides that, I think it's a cool skin. And I like the Mr. Beast 6000 skin a lot more than the base skin. Uh... 8 out of 10 Mr. Beast. Next up, we have Relax Fit Jonesy, another skin that was gifted to me by one of my good friends. Thank you very much. This is a fantastic skin. This is a skin I've been wanting for a really, really long time, and I think he's awesome. I think it's really funny. He reminds me of Fat Thor from uh, Endgame. He's really, really awesome. I'm going to give Relax Fit Jonesy a solid 9 out of 10. Really awesome skin. I love him. Next up, we have Arctic Adeline. This is our or one out of two free skins you got from the Winterfest presents this year. And this skin is honestly really good. She has an put down a style, and I honestly think... I'm not gonna say, I'm gonna say this right now. They knocked out of the park with the free skins this year from Winterfest. They are all absolutely incredible. Uh, better than the ones last year, and I think she's fantastic. I'm gonna give her an 8 out of 10. Really good Christmas skin. Next up, we have Helsey. This is our tier 80 skin, I'm pretty sure. She's... I like her. I like she has some good styles. I like the I think the base style is my favorite one though. I like the clothing. I like the stick of the base style the best. You have three other styles for her. You get the club president style. And you also have some really cool overtime styles for her too. Uh I'm gonna give Helsing eight out of ten. I think that's a good skin. Next up we have Lumi Jelly. This is on Jelly Reskin. And you got it from a Bioless Bioluminescence quest pack. Yes, I can see that word. Anyway. It's a fantastic skin. It's a fantastic reskin of jelly. I love all the lights going on this skin. It looks like it's like a whole little party in there. You know? It's really, really cool. I like the skin a lot. 9 out of 10 for jelly. Slay Ready Guff isn't as good as Guff Gringle, but I like the reindeer hat. I'm gonna give him a 8 out of 10. Hop Light Giannis is a really cool skin. I didn't buy the other one because it's a little too expensive for me, but this one is fantastic. I've been playing God of War recently, and this is my, and all this God of War memes, like, this is basically, uh, somebody from Olympus, and I like it really, really cool, and it has a really cool spear, it has a really cool backling, and it matches Kratos. This skin is also really, really cool looking, I love the lightning eyes, love all the other styles, this skin is absolutely incredible, and one of my favorite icon series skins in the game, 10 out of 10, really, really good. Next up, we have the Aegis, aka Geno Fortnite, aka Geno posting. Guys, what do I say? This is one of the best skins in the entire game. I'm seeing this right now. This is another Cycle out of 10 skin. Not because of this style. This style was really, really, really awesome. And I absolutely love it. I love the armor. I love the look of it. I love that you can take off the crown. They can take off the helmet. Oh, it's so good. But his overtime styles go so unbelievably hard. Especially the Eon one. It's literally a Galaxy Knight. And also the Halcorn one. These ones are Chef's Kiss. The best overtime style Sporna has ever done for a skin is in this skin. It is absolutely insane how good the skin looks with uh, Galaxy Armor. Cyclod 10, probably my new main skins of the game, just like Doom Guy. I love Ageless. I think he might be better than, than uh, Doom Guy, actually. Yuletide Raider is up next. He's really cool. I like the, like the hat. He's a great tier. He's a great, what's it called? He's a great Christmas skin, I think. I like him a lot. I'm going to give him a solid... 7 out of 10. Good skin. Next up, we have Dolph. I think Dolph is really cool as well. I think Dolph has a really nice look to him. He's part of the Slay Team Bundle. Really cool skin. I like the lead reindeer aesthetic for him. I'm going to give him a solid 8 out of 10. It's a good... It's a, actually, no, 9 out of 10. I like this skin a lot. All you Dolph fans out there, I like Dolph as well. Next up is Red Nosed Raider. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the skin, personally. I think it's goofy looking. But it looks really cheap, and it looks like a really shitty cosplay thrown together, which also makes me kind of like it even more now I said that. Um, I'll give you a 7 out of 10. I mostly bought the bundle for Dolph and the pickaxe, but you're alright. Like, it's okay. 
Next up is Masai, another skin that I should probably use. I haven't touched Masai yet. I'm sorry, Masai fans. I said I've gotten so many skins this month, I can't really have the time to use this skin yet. He's really cool. I like the mask. I think once again, he also gets some really good overtime styles. Masai is a solid 9 out of 10, no, 8 out of 10 skin. So basically, every single skin in this battle pass is an 8 out of 10 or above. This battle pass is absolutely incredible. Next up, we have Rogue. This is a Marvel skin I've been wanting for a while, and she finally came back. I haven't really, well, I didn't have enough be left to like Gambit, but I'll probably get him when he comes back. Hopefully, they bring him back. But Rogue is really nice. I like the color scheme. I like the character from the comics. I think she's great. Uh, really good adaptation, by the way. 9 out of 10. Next up, we, next up we have Sid. I don't think I would buy the skin, but I bought her because she got a really good minty in style. And I was just like, you know what? It's a pretty good skin. I like Sid. I'm going to give Sid an 8 out of 10. And now, Guildheart. This is our first skin of 2023. It's a crew pack of January. And what I think about it, I think the skin is really, really cool looking. I love the night aesthetic. Listen to me, this season's medieval, this medieval theme for this season goes really, really hard, and I really like the skin. I do really like this crew pack as well, it's really awesome. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. And that is it for today's video. I know this is like a lot of skins and everything, so I'm kind of keep this video as short as possible. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. Peace out, everybody.